What if I told you that everything you see, touch, and experience might not be real? Welcome to the brink of reality and imagination, where the very fabric of existence is questioned. From the philosophies of ancient civilizations to the cutting-edge theories of today's brightest minds comes a theory so compelling it challenges the very nature of our existence. Simulation theory. The idea that our universe, our consciousness, might just be an advanced computer simulation. Explore the evidence, the skepticism, and the profound implications of a reality where the lines between humanity and technology blur. Join us on a journey through the matrix of reality. Question the seen, the unseen, the truths we accept and the lies we perceive. Welcome to Quantum Mind. The notion of a simulated reality far from being a purely contemporary phenomenon is deeply embedded in the annals of philosophical thought, stretching back to ancient civilizations. This enduring fascination with the nature of reality and our perception of it has seamlessly transitioned from the realm of speculative philosophy to the forefront of scientific inquiry today. Picture the ancient Greeks, a civilization renowned for its profound philosophical inquiries delving into the essence of reality itself. Among them, Plato, one of history's most influential thinkers, introduced a concept that strikingly mirrors today's discussions on simulated universes. Plato's allegory of the cave, presented in his work, The Republic, serves as a compelling precursor to the modern simulation theory. In this allegory, Plato invites us to envision a group of people who have lived their entire lives chained inside a dark cave, facing a blank wall. All they can see are shadows projected on the wall by objects passing in front of a fire behind them, and these shadows constitute their entire perception of reality. However, the true essence of the objects casting these shadows remains unseen and incomprehensible to the cave's prisoners. This scenario proposed by Plato brilliantly encapsulates the core of simulation theory. The shadows on the cave wall symbolize the simulated reality we might be experiencing, a mere projection or a fragment of a more complex and fuller reality that lies beyond our current perception. Just as the prisoners in the allegory mistake shadows for reality, we too might be mistaking a simulated construct for the true nature of our universe. Plato's exploration of illusion versus reality in the allegory of the cave offers an early philosophical framework that resonates with the notion of living within a simulated environment. It poses profound questions about perception, knowledge, and the nature of reality, questions that remain central to the simulation theory debate today. This ancient philosophical narrative not only underscores the long-standing human quest to understand the fabric of reality, but also illustrates the enduring relevance of philosophical inquiry in shedding light on contemporary scientific discussions. Fast forward to the 21st century, and we find ourselves in a world where technology has advanced to a point where the notion of living in a simulation is not just a philosophical musing, but a scientific hypothesis. A key player in this discussion is Nick Bostrom, a Swedish philosopher at the University of Oxford. In 2003, Bostrom published a paper titled, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation?, which presented a compelling argument that we might indeed be living in a simulation created by a highly advanced civilization. Bostrom's work has sparked considerable debate and interest, not least from some of the most influential minds of our time. Elon Musk, the tech billionaire and founder of companies like SpaceX and Tesla, has publicly stated that he thinks the chances are one in billions that we are not living in a simulation. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson also suggests that the possibility that we are living in a simulated universe is 50-50. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? That our lives, our universe, everything we know and experience could be a sophisticated computer program designed by a civilization far more advanced than ours. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of reality and raises questions about consciousness, free will, and the nature of existence itself. This brings us to a thought-provoking trilemma. Are you ready? Nick Bostrom's simulation argument, a pivotal piece of modern philosophical discourse, challenges our understanding of reality through the presentation of a logical trilemma. This argument meticulously outlines three distinct scenarios regarding the fate and behavior of technologically advanced civilizations with the assertion that at least one of these scenarios must inevitably hold true. The implications of each scenario provide a profound insight into the potential futures of civilizations capable of creating universe-wide simulations, as well as our own place within that spectrum. The extinction hypothesis is the first scenario proposed by Bostrom. 
It delves into the grim possibility that civilizations reaching the brink of technological advancement necessary to simulate entire universes are doomed to self-annihilation before achieving such a feat. This hypothesis is grounded in the observation that technological progression brings with it the increased capacity for self-destruction, be it through warfare, environmental degradation, disease, or other existential threats. The essence of this scenario is a cautionary tale, suggesting that the path to unparalleled technological power is fraught with dangers that could ultimately lead to a civilization's premature demise. The boredom hypothesis presents a contrasting scenario. Here, Bostrom speculates on the nature of post-singularity societies, suggesting that such civilizations might simply lack any desire to create ancestor simulations. The reasons for this disinterest could be manifold, ethical considerations might prevent them from recreating the past, especially if it involves the suffering of sentient beings. Alternatively, such advanced societies could have transcended beyond a point where simulating their own historical realities holds any allure deeming it an uninteresting pursuit compared to other unimaginable and far more enriching activities available to them. This scenario invites us to contemplate the evolving priorities and moral frameworks of highly advanced civilizations. The simulation hypothesis is the final and perhaps the most intriguing of the scenarios. It posits that if a civilization reaches the capability to create detailed simulations of their universe and chooses to execute these simulations, the probability that we are currently residing in one of these simulations is significantly high. This hypothesis captivates the imagination, suggesting that our perceived reality could be just one layer within a stack of simulations, possibly extending ad infinitum. The philosophical and scientific ramifications of this scenario are vast, touching upon concepts of consciousness, the nature of reality, and the potential for infinite regress in simulated universes. Bostrom's trilemma not only pushes the boundaries of traditional philosophical inquiry, but also invites us to explore the intersections between technology, ethics, and the fundamental nature of existence. Each scenario, from the peril of technological self-destruction to the philosophical implications of simulated realities, offers a unique lens through which to examine the trajectory of intelligent life and the mysteries of the cosmos. So let's pose a question to you. Which of these three scenarios do you think is more likely? Are we on the brink of self-destruction? Are we simply not interesting enough to be simulated? Or are we living in our own version of the matrix? It's a lot to think about, right? And it's not just a matter of picking the most appealing or least scary option. Each possibility carries with it profound implications about our place in the universe and the nature of reality itself. But how can we know we're in a simulation? Are there any signs? Well, that's where things get even more interesting. Bostrom's trilemma paves the way for a deeper understanding of our potential existence within a simulated reality. Let's take a look at some tangible anomalies that might hint at the fabric of our reality being not as it seems. Consider, if you will, the peculiarities that arise in the digital worlds of video games, glitches, and bugs. These anomalies, often stemming from coding errors or oversight, manifest as unexpected and sometimes inexplicable phenomena within the game's universe. Now let's parallel this concept with our own reality. There have been numerous instances, moments that puzzle the mind and challenge our understanding of physics, events that seem inexplicable or illogical. Could these be the glitches of our reality, akin to those in video games suggesting we're part of a much larger simulation? Or are they simply phenomena that our current scientific understanding cannot yet explain? As we delve deeper into the intriguing aspects that may hint at the nature of our reality being akin to a simulation, we encounter a phenomenon that stands out for its widespread impact on collective memory, the Mandela Effect. This phenomenon, named after Nelson Mandela, the anti-apartheid revolutionary and former president of South Africa, brings to light the curious case where a significant portion of the global population shares a vivid, yet incorrect memory of Mandela dying in prison during the 1980s. This collective misremembering is particularly baffling considering Mandela's actual death occurred in 2013 after he had made an indelible mark on history, not just as a prisoner, but as a Nobel Peace Prize laureate and South Africa's first black president in a fully representative democratic election. The Mandela effect goes beyond this single instance. It encompasses a myriad of examples where large groups of people remember events, facts, or details in a manner starkly different from recorded history. 
From discrepancies in the spelling of brand names to misquoted lines in movies and incorrect dates of significant events, the Mandela Effect presents a fascinating array of collective memory anomalies. This phenomenon prompts us to question the reliability of our collective memory and the very nature of reality itself. Are these widespread instances of misremembering simply due to the fallibility of human memory? Or do they hint at something more profound? Some theorists speculate that such discrepancies could be evidence of parallel realities, alternate timelines that have somehow intersected or merged with our own. Others propose a more radical theory, suggesting that these anomalies are akin to updates or patches in a simulated reality, where certain events or details are altered, leading to collective confusion among the inhabitants of the simulation. The Mandela Effect, thus, opens the door to speculative inquiry about the structure of reality, the accuracy of our memories, and the possibility of our universe being much more complex than a straightforward tangible existence. It challenges us to consider whether we are living in a world subject to manipulation or alteration, either by the natural convergence of parallel dimensions or by the deliberate design of an advanced civilization's simulated environment. This inquiry not only expands our understanding of the Mandela Effect, but also aligns with broader philosophical and scientific explorations into the nature of existence and the universe. The exploration into the possibility of our reality being a simulation takes a profound turn as we delve into the enigmatic realm of quantum physics, a branch of science that has, time and again, challenged our conventional understanding of the physical world. Among the myriad of bewildering phenomena quantum physics has unveiled, the double-slit experiment stands out as a cornerstone, shedding light on the fundamental nature of particles at the quantum level. This experiment demonstrates that subatomic particles, such as electrons or photons, can display characteristics of both particles and waves, a duality that defies the classical laws of physics. When not directly observed, these particles pass through two slits simultaneously, creating an interference pattern on a detector that suggests wave-like behavior. However, the moment these particles are observed as they pass through the slits, they behave like particles, and the interference pattern disappears, indicating that the act of measurement collapses their wave function into a single state. This quantum anomaly, particles existing in a state of superposition, where they can be in multiple places or states at once until observed, poses profound implications for our understanding of reality. It suggests that the fabric of reality itself might be dependent on observation, a concept that aligns intriguingly with the notion of a simulated universe. In such a universe, the rules of the game, so to speak, could be programmed to change or adapt based on the observation, akin to how a video game might alter its rendering based on the player's perspective or actions. The observer effect in the double-slit experiment could be seen as a parallel to this idea, indicating that our reality might be more malleable and subject to manipulation than previously thought. The intriguing nature of these anomalies and theories, though not yet substantiated by conclusive evidence, beckons us into the expansive and largely unexplored realms of science and philosophy. They compel us to confront the profound enigma of reality's true essence. As we venture further into the scientific community's exploration of simulation theory, adopting an open-minded stance becomes imperative. This approach allows us to appreciate these theories as contributions to an evolving discourse on the essence of our existence and the broader mysteries of the universe. Critics of the simulation hypothesis highlight significant hurdles, such as the astronomical computational power that would be necessary to create a universe-wide simulation, a feat that dwarfs our current technological capabilities. Additionally, they raise philosophical challenges, noting the theory's lack of falsifiability, a fundamental principle of scientific inquiry that mandates theories be testable and, crucially, refutable. This critique underscores a pivotal question in the scientific method. If a theory cannot be disproven through empirical evidence, can it truly be considered scientific? The philosophical community is similarly divided. Figures like Nick Bostrom have championed the likelihood of our existence within a simulation, adding a veneer of legitimacy to the discussion. In contrast, other philosophers regard the simulation theory as an intriguing thought experiment rather than a hypothesis grounded in empirical evidence. This spectrum of views enriches the debate, ensuring that it remains a vibrant area of intellectual exploration. Regardless of one's position on the simulation theory, its value in challenging our perceptions and expanding the frontiers of our understanding is undeniable. 
it invites both skeptics and proponents to engage with the philosophical ramifications of such a hypothesis. The simulation theory not only stretches the limits of our current knowledge, but also serves as a catalyst for deeper reflection on the nature of reality itself. Whether viewed with skepticism or belief, the philosophical exploration of the simulation theory is a journey that promises to reshape our understanding of the world. The provocative question of whether we exist within a simulation catapults us into a profound philosophical exploration, challenging the very pillars of our understanding of consciousness and the essence of reality. This inquiry into the simulation theory beckons us to scrutinize the origins and nature of consciousness. Is it an emergent property of the brain's complex neural networks, or could it be a product of the simulation itself, akin to an elaborate piece of programming? Under the lens of simulation theory, reality transforms from a concrete, objective experience into a sophisticated illusion, meticulously engineered to engage our senses and convince us of its authenticity. This radical shift in perspective unleashes a cascade of existential inquiries. It forces us to reassess the significance we attribute to our lives and experiences. Within the context of a simulation, the authenticity of our emotions, aspirations, and achievements is called into question. Are these genuine manifestations of human spirit or merely the outcomes of preordained code? Such questions not only challenge the realms of science and philosophy, but also invite us to confront the very foundations upon which we construct our understanding of existence. As we navigate these tumultuous philosophical seas, the quest for concrete evidence of our reality's nature persists. Science and philosophy continue their intricate dance, attempting to unravel the mysteries of consciousness and reality. This ongoing pursuit reflects humanity's indefatigable desire to comprehend the universe and our place within it, whether as autonomous beings or intricate simulations within a vast and unknowable system. In the realm of scientific exploration, researchers are embarked on an audacious journey to unearth definitive proof that our reality might indeed be a sophisticated simulation. This venture is at the cutting edge of science, where the mysteries of quantum physics intertwine with the latest technological advancements. Scientists are not just pushing against the boundaries of our current understanding, they're seeking to transcend them, akin to a player within a video game endeavoring to discover the confines of their digital universe from the inside. This pursuit involves more than theoretical speculation. It's grounded in practical experimentation and exploration. As we develop and refine our capabilities to create increasingly complex simulations, these artificial environments become not just tools for understanding phenomena like climate change or social dynamics, but also mirrors reflecting the potential nature of our own existence. The insights gained from constructing our own simulations could provide invaluable clues about the underlying fabric of our universe, hinting at the mechanisms that could sustain a simulated reality on a cosmic scale. The quest to decipher the true nature of our reality is a journey marked by profound questions and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Each discovery, each technological breakthrough brings us closer to understanding whether our perceptions of the universe align with its true essence, or if they're merely the outputs of an advanced cosmic simulation. Yet, amid this pursuit, one truth remains unchallenged. The path to uncovering the nature of our reality is as intrinsically captivating as the potential revelations it holds. The journey itself, replete with intellectual challenges and the thrill of discovery, underscores the enduring human quest for knowledge and the desire to understand not just where we are, but what we are in the vast expanse of the cosmos. As we wrap up, simulation theory certainly gives us a lot to think about. As we draw this discussion to a close, the concept of simulation theory opens a vast expanse of contemplation and inquiry into the essence of our existence. This theory compels us to scrutinize the foundations of what we consider to be real, urging us to delve into the profound implications of our reality, potentially being an elaborate construct. It challenges us to envision the ramifications such a paradigm might have on the future of humanity. Are we participants in an intricate simulation, the complexity of which surpasses our current understanding? This exploration invites us to engage in a broader dialogue, to share insights and hypotheses about the potential scope and scale of our reality. What does the notion of living within a grand simulation imply about our perceptions, our decisions, and the nature of consciousness itself? We encourage you to contribute your thoughts and perspectives to this fascinating conversation. 
Subscribe to our channel for more content that pushes the boundaries of conventional thought and join us in this ongoing exploration of simulation theory. Thank you for watching and for embarking on this intellectual journey with us. Your engagement enriches the discourse, shedding light on the myriad ways in which the concept of a simulated reality resonates with our deepest questions about existence, identity, and the cosmos at large.